In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to use and slightly modify the eight variations of the Mixer Wipe transition as part of the Adorage 10 package. Now, if you have PowerDirector Ultimate or 365, you do have the Adorage 10 package bundled with you. If you only have the Ultra version, you will not be able to have this package as part of your automatic additions to PowerDirector. So this is primarily for the Ultimate or 365 PowerDirector users. Let's look at the two clips we have on track number one. We start with a long shot of the Golden Gate Bridge, and then we transition to a close-up of a lighthouse. Let me assume that I want to create a mixer wipe transition. To do that, I'm going to go to my transition room, or I can press the F8 key or click on the icon with the lightning bolt. And then I find I have a Dorage transition at the top. Now, your menu may be slightly different. The easiest way to find it is click the down arrow, drag the slider to the bottom, go to ProDAD, and then it's only one of three options. So I'm going to take and drag that transition down between my two clips. Now, if we do not edit this, it will be a simple fade. So if I press the play key on my video, it simply transitions from one to the other in a fade format. But that's not what I want because there are many transitions available inside the Adorage package. I highlight the Adorage transition, click on the modify button above my timeline. And then I need to click on Standalone Effect. I'm going to drag the panel to the right so you can see that's what the button is. So we'll click on that, and that will take me to all the options in my Adorage version on my computer. Now, because I have Ultimate or 365, I have a Volume 10. So I'm going to click to the plus to the left of that subcategory. And then I'm going to click to the plus to the left of General Effects. What I want to use now is Mixer Wipe. Now this is confusing because you actually have one Mixer Wipe here and another one lower. We're going to use the one that's higher up. I'll click on the plus there and I see I have eight options. And so this will give me eight different ways in which I can use this. They're only labeled, unfortunately, by number, not by descriptions, but let's go through each of them. The first one will paint the picture from left to right. If I click on this, the second clip will come in painted, as it were, and slide in from left to right. Number two will do the same thing in the opposite direction. It takes the second clip and paints it across the screen from right to left. Zero three does bottom to top. 04, as you might guess, does top to bottom. 05 will go from the middle to both the top and the bottom. 06 goes from top and bottom to the middle. 07 will paint from the middle to the left and right edge. The second clip will start in the middle and expand to the left and right. And as you might assume, number eight will go from the outside edge right to the middle, from left and right to the middle of the screen. Let me show you one small adjustment you can make. There are many controls and they can be confusing. What I'd like to do is click on the mixer box and that will take me to another screen. Now, one of the things that you can do as this plays is you can add a border color. The default is none. I'm going to click the down arrow and I'll cl simply click on color. This will take me to my border color. The default is black and you can see there's a small black edge when, it, when I'm using this particular variation. I can also change the brightness of the border. It starts at 50%. I can go up to 100% and make it very sharp and clear. And I have a sharpness here. I can make it fuzzy by moving the slider here. And it will come together slightly differently. So I can control the sharpness of the border and the brightness of the border. 
as well as the color. Now black isn't the only color. Once I have color selected in the box on the left side, I can click on select color. That takes me to my color palette. And let's uh, try a green. Click on OK. And now I have a green border. To make the border go away, I can click the down arrow and click on none. If I don't like any of the changes, what I like is you can simply click on the reset button at the bottom and then you will have the default, which is no border. We'll cancel out of there. But you can do this with any of the eight mixer wipe options in the Adorage package. So let's take number six for fun and click on OK in the lower left corner. And then when we play our transition, we'll see we go from the long shot of the Golden Gate to a very easy wipe that you didn't have to do any keyframing with if you have the Adorage 10 package in your copy of CyberLink PowerDirector.